and welcome to my channel today I just want to open this lovely box of goodies with you it's one of the crafters companions um, subscription boxes um, I've not got the subscription but uh, I've been to the Chesterfield store and um, they have excess stock uh, reduced I'm presuming uh, so these ones are £15 in the sale the box that we've got today is number 29 and it's Eclipse Stamping so I thought I'd just do a little video opening it up with you so you can see what's in it if you want to go and buy one so let's get started so in the lovely packaging as always oh that's some lovely ribbon some nice shiny gems always love a bit of sparkle and we've got some alphabet dies and some lovely acrylic stamps. Let's see if I can find something to put behind that so I can uh, see them a little bit better. No, nope, not that one because it's dark. <laughs> there we go. Might be able to see them a little bit better now. So I've got some nice flowers and some sentiments to be going on with your projects. Like a little butterfly. Uh, bumblebee not butterfly that'll uh, be some nice uh, cans that I'll be able to make with that and then got some card blanks as we usually do and some envelopes in different sizes so I think there's three different sizes I think there's four by six six by six and five by seven I think they are anyway I think that's what the uh, sizes are um, I think the front of the box says that uh, Minimum of 24 cards, so I'm presuming that there's uh, 24 card blanks in it. I've not counted them. I'll have a look on the back of the box if uh, that's the case. Got some lovely printed paper and some coloured card for matting and layering. So I'll just get the box out of the way. See, I really like the boxes. Me, I'm terrible. I like uh, keeping boxes. I've got a got a box issue. Um, Card blank. Yes, there's 24 card blanks and 24 envelopes, 26 metal dies, 24 acrylic stamps, 24 pieces of coloured card, 24 pieces of printed papers, 9 different ribbons and 100 self-adhesive gems. So I think you get quite a fair bit in it for uh, your money, even if you're, uh, I've got the subscription and you don't get it at the reduced price, I think it's worth it for the quality of product what you get. You know anything that you get from Crafters Companion is going to be really good quality. Um, I've been following them since they started all those years ago when I first started out crafting and uh, I think one of their, their company was the first one that I sort of recognised as a uh, craft company. So I'm a big fan if you can't tell. So we've got our gems and our ribbons and card blanks and stamps. So let's just have a look at the lovely pattern papers. These are 8x8, eight eight. some lovely pastel colours there, one's one, two, three, oh there's four, so it's four of each design, and the looks of it, yep, and so we've got lovely variety, I think they're all in the yellows, pinks and blues on this pack, they all work coordinate lovely together. I really like them. I think some nice scrapbook pages these. I've actually got an 8x8 scrapbook that um, I think these will go well for. They really are lovely. It's hard to resist buying them when you see them when they're this nice and uh, they're at a bargain price. So that's the first three. This one's got more sort of mustardy tones to it I'd say. It's really nice. I think these are poppies that's in it. They look like poppies to me anyway. <laughs> so poppies and roses. Oh, this one's got uh, the little bees on. That's very cute. I like how it's got the ombre effect on the uh, on the page. 
looks really nice. It looks like it's got some distressing on the uh, pattern as well. So that's really nice. That'll be good for working with. And then this is the last one. Some nice dotty paper. Actually, it looks looking at it it's, uh, as though it's handmade paper, you know, with the uh, fibres in it. It's what it looks like to me. Might not be able to pick it up on the camera very well. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, but that's those. I think they're lovely. We'll just check out the um, coloured card that there is. There's definitely more than enough to make uh, 24 cards at least, minimum. And if you're a frugal crafter like I am, you'll uh, definitely be able to make it stretch further than the uh, 24 cards. So that's a lovely mustard colour. That will go well with the with that one, definitely. Sorry, that's my cat jumping in the background. And that one as well. I think that one's really nice. I think I'll just sit and play and go through all my uh, colours before I actually start any projects off. And then we've got lovely, let's call that an ocean blue. It's not a baby blue and it's not a the royal has sort of got a bit of teal to it, I think, that one. And this one looks like a, a rosy pink. Really like that one. I think that'll go with that mustard colour really, really well. And then I'll call this a, a sage green. Or a minty green. It's not uh, very dark. I don't know how well it's picking up the colour up on the, uh, on the camera or not. Can't see from this angle, um, but that is that's really nice green. And oh, my favourite, lavenders and purples. Really like that. See that can uh, go as a pink or a purple. Really, I think it's really really nice. I'd say well a lilac. And then we've got a peachy orange. Again, we've got three of each sheet like we have in the uh, pattern papers. And then we've got a lovely baby pink really nice and well that that is a lovely bright green I'd say this one more of a, um, a minty green than uh, the other one it's definitely a nice bright colour and give you some uh, pop to your uh, your paper craft projects so that's it I've uh, been itching to have a go with this but I didn't want to start it until I've uh, done the opening with you um, so uh, that's why I've got it out now, but I'm going to sit and have a look through and think what I'm going to pop together. Um, just for the Eclipse stamping, I think, I think the basic idea is that you do your stamping and then you uh, cut the letters out in the middle of it on, and sort of do a, a shadow effect. That's what it looks like to me uh, on the pictures that are on the front. Um, there's no actual instructions with the box so I'll have to try and uh, see if I can find something on the um, Crafters Companion site whether if they've got any uh, videos of their own that they did of it when they launched this um, this subscription box so I hope that's uh, been helpful if you've been uh, umming and ahhing whether if you want to uh, try one of these subscription boxes you definitely get your money's worth and uh, I think I'll be buying more in the future so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye